welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm so glad you're here for today's video because Steph and I are filming a Bridgerton themed reading vlog and we hope you enjoy it. We're very excited to be filming this special reading vlog for you. It's Friday and we don't have any plans for the weekend. It's one of the rare weekends where stuff is not working at the bookstore, so we have the whole weekend off. So we are literally just going to spend the whole weekend at home reading, but specifically we are going to be reading Romancing Mr. Bridgerton by Julia Quinn. This is the third book in the Bridgerton series. I'm sure all of you know what it is. It's a historical romance series that has been very popular the last couple of years because Netflix adapted it into a TV show and there's currently three seasons out. Um, the current season goes with this book. It is Colin and Penelope's season. Netflix released the first four episodes, I believe, already in part one this month in May. Um, and I've heard good things. So in this vlog, I'm so excited. I wanted to do a Bridgerton specific reading vlog. Steph and I are going to take you along this weekend. We're going to first buddy read this book together, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, reading it for the first time together. And then after, or probably while we're reading the book, we are going to watch part one of the season on Netflix. We haven't watched it yet. We've been waiting to film this vlog to read the book to watch the show. So we have not watched it yet. We have not read the book. We're doing this for the first time. We thought it'd be fun to film a vlog so all of you can come on the journey as we read this together and watch the show. So we're very excited. We hope you enjoy the vlog. Um, for some background, we both watched season two of the show, the first two seasons of the show. Absolutely love them. And um, as far as the books go, Stuff has read the first three books in the series. So she read Anthony's book, um, Daphne's book, and Benedict's book. So, and I have only read Daphne's book and Anthony's. So I didn't read Benedict's book, even though that one's technically before this one. I'm actually going to read the books in order with the Netflix show, if that makes sense, instead of like the actual order. So we both have read a few of these already and watched the first two seasons, but we have not read or watched Romance with Mr. Bridgerton. So we're going to take you along this weekend. It's going to be so fun as we read it and watch the show for this Bridgerton themed vlog. We can't wait to film it and we're going to share our thoughts and our reactions as we read and watch the TV show on Netflix together. So it's going to be a really cozy, chill at home weekend. Um, today's Friday and it's Friday evening. I've already filmed a bunch of clips today. So um, basically today was just a work from home day. And then I showed you we've been doing some baking. We are making a chocolate cake because I've been craving chocolate cake. And we're also making zucchini pineapple bread um, because we love to bake on the weekends. And our cousin just had a baby, so my parents are going to go over there and visit her and bring some dessert. So we're doing some baking, working from home. It's been a really good Friday. It's now Friday night. Um, I love Friday nights because you know you have like the whole weekend ahead of you. So I'm so excited. Tonight there's actually a basketball game on. I have my merch on. For the WNBA, we have a team here in Connecticut called Connecticut Sun, and I'm a huge fan, so I like to watch their games. So there's a game tonight, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be finishing up the baking because our cakes are in the oven. We're going to be watching the game and just kind of hanging out and possibly starting this book. Steph actually already started this. She just started it. She literally just like read the prologue in a first couple of pages of the first chapter, but I have not started it yet. And Steph's going to be reading this mass market and I'm actually going to read it on my Kindle Paperwhite because I purchased it on my Kindle a few months ago, but it was like super cheap. So it works out since we're buddy reading this together, she can have the physical copy and I could read it on my Kindle. So this is Steph's copy and I will be reading it on my Kindle, but I'm hoping to start the book tonight, um, either tonight or early tomorrow on Saturday. We will see, but welcome to the vlog. I'm so happy you are here. I hope you enjoy it. Um, 
make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already and let us know in a comment below if you have read Romancing Mr. Bridgerton or and watched the new season on Netflix part one. Um, I would love to know your thoughts in a comment below. Hopefully you like them but we're gonna take you along this weekend. Hope you enjoy spending the weekend with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun so let's get started. It's now Saturday afternoon. It's the next day. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I wanted to give a little update since it's been a while, but I um, ended up starting Romancing Mr. Bridgerton last night and I read the prologue and chapter one since the chapters are pretty long. So I just started the book. I think I got to like 30 pages. I ended up starting it pretty late, so I didn't get that much reading done last night, but I did start the book and I'm really enjoying it so far and Steph already started it because we're reading it together and she's also really enjoying it so far and we ended up actually watching the first episode of season three on Netflix for the show. I was gonna wait to start it until later in the weekend but Steph and I are both just so excited to get into the show so we just decided we're gonna watch the show as we read the book. So we watched episode one and absolutely loved it. I know the season has very mixed reviews so far for part one. Some people like it, some people don't and say that it like doesn't feel like the same show. I don't know why, but from episode one, Steph and I watched it last night. We absolutely loved it. Um, it's a lot like the beginning of the book, which we like. We like when books and shows are similar. And yeah, we thought it had a really good start. We love Colin and Penelope, so we're really excited to get further into their story. But so far, so good for this vlog. We both started the book and are enjoying it and we watched episode one of the show and we're really liking it. So that is the update until now. It's now Saturday. I had just a nice chill morning since we're home today. Stuff's not working. So we have a nice chill weekend. So just had a nice chill morning. Got up, had some coffee, just watched YouTube. We like to have a slow morning on the weekends. Um, and then I washed my sheets like I do every week and had lunch. And now here, and I made my bed, now here we are. So I'm in our reading slash home office room. It's Saturday afternoon now, so I'm gonna do some reading later, and then we're gonna watch more of the Bridgerton show tonight. But first, I wanna do a couple of productive things. Um, I try to be productive. On the weekends, we're home, and just do things that I didn't get to during the week. So today's actually fun, because I'm actually shooting some content for a brand that I'm working with on TikTok. If you guys don't know, I am a content creator for brands, um, kind of like being an influencer, but sometimes I create only UGC content, which is where 
you're creating content for them to post on their social media accounts, but you don't have to post it on your account. I have a series on UGC a little bit. I'll link it above if you want to check it out. But yes, yeah, so I'm filming a collab with a fashion company today. I am filming a TikTok video and I am going to be posting it on my account. Make sure to follow me. I will put my handle on the screen, but my TikTok, Instagram, all of our social media accounts are always linked below. Go follow us. Um, so yeah, I'm filming um, a fun TikTok today for a small fashion business. So they let me pick out 10 pieces of clothing from their website, and I'm going to film a TikTok with a little try and haul. So that was so generous of them. I'm so excited to be working with them on TikTok. I'll probably still post the TikTok video on Instagram and on YouTube here as a short if the brand will let me, since I like to cross promote my um, content. So I will share that. I'll link the short or the video if I put it up here. But yeah, so I'm going to film that now just to try and haul with all the pieces the brand sent me and then send that to them for approval. Um, I usually do this stuff during the week, but I figured I'll get a head start this weekend since the the clothes came yesterday and if I get it done this weekend I don't have to do it during the work week so since I have some time this weekend I'm gonna do my content creation like now instead just to save me time during the week so I'm about to try everything on I also ordered a few things from Princess Polly so I'm just gonna film my own little try on haul for myself it's not for the brand it's just for me and I will share that with you guys as well if you're interested in watching it once it goes up but I'm just gonna be shooting some content trying on a bunch of clothes for a bit and yeah I'm just gonna shoot two reels slash tiktok videos one for the brand and one just for me with a little princess poly haul so that is what I'm gonna be doing just some content stuff this afternoon since the lighting's really good and everything so I'm gonna be doing that for a little bit and then I will take you along after that. But that is the update for now. Thank you for watching the vlog. I hope you're enjoying it so far. And I will check in again later. it's time for another update since it's been a while i hope you're still enjoying the vlog and you enjoyed all the clips i've been filming this weekend um yesterday on saturday i you saw i was busy i was filming content for a brand and i was just doing a bunch of things around the house laundry chores i ended up being really busy around the house that i didn't really get much reading in until nighttime so but at night I got a lot of reading done so I wanted to give a reading update so I'm still reading Romancing Mr. Bridgerton Steph's not reading it with me anymore because she just put it down for now she's not in the mood for it she's reading like summer books so it's just me reading Romancing Mr. Bridgerton still but I finally got some more reading done last night so I read for a while before bed and I am now let's see I think I'm a little over the 300 page mark and the books I think like 410 pages historical romance books are pretty chunky but I'm reading it on my Kindle Paperwhite so I'm about 300 pages in a little bit over that so I have like about 100 pages left and I'm absolutely loving the book no surprise because I've loved the past two that I read in the past um I'm absolutely loving it I love just Colin and Penelope's friendship. The trope is like my favorite trope of all time in this book, friends to lovers, because Colin and Penelope have known each other for a very long time since their families are friends and Penelope's best friends with his sister Eloise. So I love that they have a history together as friends and they've known each other for a long time and she's always loved him but he didn't realize it and I just love like their friendship being further developed in the story as they like spend more time together. So I'm really loving that friends to lovers aspect. It's just my favorite trope and I feel like it's not done enough. So I'm loving it. That's why I was so excited to read this book. 
for Colin Penelope's story because it's my favorite trope, Friends to Lovers. And I love that Julia Quinn for the whole series, she does all different tropes. So, but Friends to Lovers is my favorite. So I am loving this book so much. I just love Colin and Penelope. And I like how you see both of their perspectives. Um, like you get both you get inside both of their heads to know like what they're both thinking and feeling and I love that I love dual perspectives dual point of views in books so you can get a sense of what you know both of the characters are thinking and feeling so I love that aspect in this book I love the Lady Whistledown segments I just love Julia Quinn's writing it's great um, Colin and Penelope have a lot of banter and humor between them I love just their friendship and as they get closer together and start to fall for each other I'm just loving the development and the characters and I can really relate to both of them individually in many many ways because Penelope is a wallflower she's very shy quiet she's not like popular um people don't tend to like gravitate towards her that's kind of how I've always felt not to like have a sob story but I've always felt like a wallflower my whole life um, I'm just more on the quieter side. You guys know I'm very like introverted and you know, I was never like the popular person in school, always on the sidelines and I hate being in the spotlight. I hate being the center of attention and that's exactly how Penelope is. So I relate to her character so, so much. And she's a spinster because she's 28 years old and I'm 29 and I'm still single. So I could definitely relate to that aspect as, as well. The story um and yeah so I relate to Penelope really really well and I also relate to Colin on so many levels you get inside his head a lot too in this book and I can relate to him because he's 33 and you know he's the third son in the family and he kind of feels a little bit lost in the family and like what his purpose is in life because his older brothers Anthony and Benedict are like so accomplished and successful and they have their their role in life they've found like their passion and their purpose and like their calling and Colin feels like he hasn't found that yet and everyone just always thinks of him as just like an empty-headed charmer and he wants people to remember him for more than that he wants to leave a legacy but he's just not sure like what that is so I can relate to him on so many levels because you know I'm 29 I'm still figuring life out as we all are and I'm still even figuring out like what I'm good at what I like to do and what my purpose is you know what what has God put me on this earth to do I'm still figuring that out myself so I like that he's 33 he's in his 30s and he's still trying to figure out who he is and everything like that so I can really relate to both of their characters so much I'm flying through the book the writing style is very easy to read um, lots of dialogue like I said lots of banter I am just really loving it so my goal is to finish the book today. I'm sure I can do it. I only have like 100 pages to go. Um, I'm flying through it. So I have a couple things to do since it's Sunday. I watched church this morning and I just had lunch and I've been doing some like cleaning and um, our sister's bachelorette is next weekend and I will be vlogging. So stay tuned. That'll be fun. But I'm kind of doing some prep for that and church starting to like make a packing list. And prep things because I'm a planner I like to plan everything in advance so I'm not stressed out so I'm starting to think about like what clothing I want to bring and just like starting to gather things together to pack and I'll be packing throughout the week as well but I'm a planner so I like to do things in advance and make a packing list and everything so I don't forget anything so it's only for the weekend we're going Friday to Sunday to Rhode Island which I'm very excited about we're in Connecticut so it's only about like an hour and a half drive for us so we're just gonna have like a nice staycation bachelorette very chill and simple because the wedding party is very very small and intimate the wedding party for our sister is literally just me Steph and then the groom side his two best friends so it's a very very small wedding party very intimate so yeah it's just gonna be our younger sister me Steph and then my our mom's gonna come because for the bachelorette because we're really close to her so we're just gonna have a very chill beachy coastal bachelorette so that vlog will be up soon once I film it next weekend so stay tuned but yeah I'm just doing some preparation for that to get things rolling but that was the update for now I'm gonna try to go outside get some reading in do some more bachelorette planning um, and just enjoy this beautiful sunny Sunday and I will update you again later.
Hi everybody, it's a couple hours later, so I wanted to share my final thoughts and wrap up this reading vlog because I finished Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. I just finished it a little while ago and I absolutely loved it. It was a five star read for me. Um, I'm not going to say too much more about it because this video is long enough and I just told you a bunch in the last clip but I loved every minute of it. Five star read, so good. Highly recommend it. Probably one of my favorite books in the series so far. I just love Colin and Penelope's story so much and I can relate to them. My favorite trope was in it, Friends to Lovers. Loved everything about it. Highly recommend it. So, so glad I finally read it. We only watched one episode of the show, so I'm planning to watch the rest of the four episodes that are out right now in part one. When I'm filming this very, very soon, I want to continue it, but I loved the first episode that we watched on Friday, and I loved the book, so I'm excited to continue the Netflix show and read the other books in the series. I'm reading the books with the Netflix show, so I'm so glad I read this one. Loved it so much. So glad I took you along. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you have read it, um, what you thought about it. What were your thoughts? Comment below. I would love to know what you think. Hopefully you enjoy the book as well. And also let me know what you think of the show. I really, really like it. I think they do a great job adapting the books and the cast is perfect. So would love for you to share your thoughts below if you've read Romancing Mr. Bridgerton or any of the books and watch the show. Let me know your thoughts. But that is it for this Bridgerton reading vlog. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me this weekend as I read the book. I really hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to like, subscribe down below, leave a comment, and thank you so much for watching again, friends. I will see you soon in our next video. Bye!